I like this. This is classic Republican thinking. This is um, like basically like the secret meets plunder. Uh, this is clip number four. They're talking about this is Stuart Lawney, who is, you know, obviously a cartoon version of scumbag sort of, you know, Scrooge character, Monopoly man sort of character. And uh, they finally uh, pinned it down. You know, every time uh, you post something on Twitter, and I have to say, man, at least these people are making a living doing this. If you're on any type of social media, like standing for billionaires or defending CEO compensation, you could not be a bigger loser or cuck. Like you just couldn't be. There's literally no more pathetic behavior I could think of. You actually, you're like, if you think you might be doing it because you might be that businessman, <laughs> just know that if you were that business person, you would have found somebody to have paid you to do that activity already. Right, and, and right, exa exactly. And as somebody who's like as committed to demystifying like the capitalist myth as I am, I will say that here, I'll throw a bone, and Elon Musk is a big emotional trigger point in his own right for people apparently, which is bizarre in and of itself, but I'll give you this. Yeah. Elon Musk was not and would not be on Twitter defending Elon Musk. I will give you that. He had infinitely better things to do. So these people at least are getting paid millions of dollars to defend the criminal capitalist class. And if you, I'll, I'll pull in Alex Jones here. If you buy into their logic, they're better than you. But I really mean it. Check this out. Did you see this headline from oh, the yeah. Washington Post? Uh, Wall Street's <laughs> average bonus in 2017, three times what most U.S. households made all year. But look, the economy is doing very well. The stock market's doing very well. So you can expect executives in financial companies to get very nice bonuses. The left hates that. The left hates Wall Street. They hate capital. Frankly, it reminds me of living in socialist England. There's an element of <laughs> jealousy here. Whoa, you're doing so well. What about me? I, you've got it. I want it. I'm taking mentality. it. The victim mentality. It's all mm. wrong. It's so mm. negative. Come on, we've got a great economy, a terrific stock market until the past couple of months. Right. Come on, we're well, all doing Washington. well. I, why, why is this endless on. complaining Man. about people are doing well? I don't think people realize until you live in New York City how families depend on those bonuses. They might not make a lot of money and they get that big bonus at the end of the year based on the work that they did over the past year. Bonuses. You work harder, you get a bigger bonus. Of course, Insane. bonuses are a big part of the pay, the overall pay of financial executives. Yeah. And it's an incentive program. Work hard, perform, you get a bigger so bonus. Is there something wrong mm. with that? Nothing. This could only be one dollar Victorian, and sometimes it takes 40 years to become a CEO. We all want to get there. It doesn't mean we're jealous of people that are there. That's right. a that's a program right. we want to get on. Capital. An escalator yes. we want to board. Yep. That's that's the American way of looking at Thought things. Thought so. Climb that food chain. <laughs> Thought so. Brains, drive, tower, <laughs> climb up there. Succeed. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. no. We're not Europe. We're not a socialist society where everybody's jealous of success. Right. Like where you're not you jealous born. of Neil Cavuto, even though he's much more famous. I mean, that doesn't bother you oh the sting is in the tail <laughs> How you doing, son? all right so we're gonna be watching your show start all right so yes Woo. these are all obviously incredibly stupid people but look let's break this Damn, down that's here a good clip. number one not everybody can be a valedictorian just like not every right exactly so not everybody can be massively overcompensated ceos we know that most jobs and most material resources flow from things like inheritance. We know that if we look at uh, Piketty as an example, that your capital accumulation position has infinitely more to do with where you were born, what position you were put into in terms of things like inheritance and access to capital than this hard work myth. Uh, a lot of people want to have things like housing, healthcare, and be compensated for their work, um, not out of a sense of jealousy, but out of a sense of uh, not wanting to be worked to death. <laughs> so um, those other people that depend on those bonuses to, I don't know, like subsidize hookers or something, uh, you know, can, can profit off of them handsomely. But look, you saw this here. This is like when you get past all of the market myths and all of the fantasies, in a way, that's beautiful because 
trickle down. We know it doesn't work. You don't grow economies that make most people benefit without, at the very least, Keynesian broader distribution. Tax cuts aimed at people at work. Tax cuts aimed at middle class people to some extent. Most importantly, infrastructure, skills training, cooperative businesses, making sure that capital is broken up and regularly recirculated through high regulation and high taxation and investment in actual people. We know all of this. That's not empirically in debate. And the policies that these people favor, they also work as they're supposed to work. They're designed to concentrate wealth in a massively limited number of people's hands and reinforce pre-existing wealth. And they work just right for that, just like these new Republican tax cuts. That's what they're designed for. That's how they work. And the next excuse story is basically just a cosmology, which is that if you have it, you deserve it. If you don't, then you didn't deserve it. And any other conversation is just jealousy. That's it. It's a simple myth. And if you don't find that compelling, which I don't think most sort of basic, rational, empathetic people with any sophisticated intellectual capacity, unless they were, like, unless you're on a private jet to the McGregor Mayweather fight, you shouldn't find that logic compelling. That's it. It's been laid out for you. So therefore, don't support any of these people's policies. And if you tweet at me about us being jealous, you will reveal that you are among the biggest marks and biggest fools in the history of the universe. You can tweet that at me, at Matt Leck. Yeah, pl- tweet that. Like, You're just jealous. I'm not motivated by jealousy. <laughs> I'm jealous because I want Stuart Varney's love. Yeah, yeah, totally.